The rigid gate OAB is hinged at O and rests against the rigid support of B. What minimum horizontal force P is required to hold the gate closed if its width is 3 meters? Neglect the weight of the gate and friction in the hinge. The back of the gate is exposed to the atmosphere. The first step is to draw a diagram of the problem. Next, we single out the gate and construct a free body diagram. The forces we want to focus on are the forces F of X in the horizontal direction and F of Y in the vertical direction. We can use the following equation to find the values for F of X and F of Y. F of X equals rho G H C of X A of X, where rho is the density of water, G is the acceleration due to gravity, HC of X equals 5 meters, and A of X is the vertical portion area of the gate, which is 12 meters squared. F of X equals 588 kilonewtons. To find F of Y, we'll follow the same method, except now HC of Y will be 7 meters, and the area of the horizontal portion of the gate is 6 meters squared. F of Y equals 412 kilonewtons. The next step is to find where F of X is acting. This is done by using the following equation, where I X of C is the moment of inertia of the gate, Y C of X is the same value as H C of X found earlier, and A of X is the area of the vertical portion of the gate. I X of C ends up being 16 meters fourth. Y C of X is 5 meters, and A of X is 12 meters squared. After plugging these values in, we get that Y R X equals 5.267 meters. The final step in finding P is using the free body diagram to sum the moments about point O. By doing this, we can also ignore the reaction forces at O. After plugging in the calculated values, we find that P is equal to 4.36 times 10 to the 5th newtons.